Hey, good day. This is Ben here with Stu on the Lake. I've been doing some uh, goofy things all along, so it's time to get back to some regular stuff. So here's a spirit house with cottonwood, a uh, piece of cottonwood bark. I cut that thing down. Uh, man, I hate to cut these long pieces up, but I went ahead and slabbed up some basswood. You can see that my, uh, my bandsaw blade is in bad, bad shape, but uh, I can live with this. It's a uh, rustic carving after all. So I cut some slabs off there. Uh, and hey, Rob, uh, I saw your video this morning. You were talking about buying some basswood. You don't need to do that. Uh, tomorrow I'm putting new blades on the, on the bandsaw. I'll cut those things uh, four inches for you, some three inches and a couple of bigger pieces in there. Not, not gonna get four foot long, but uh, I'll get a box off, off to you. Uh, so if you haven't already, don't spend your money on that. I, I really will uh, box some basswood up and, and, and ship it across the, the pond there. So there's the roof. You'll see little uh, sparks in here. I put some little finishing nails, uh, a couple of them in there. And I, I like to find those later on and, and pull those out because I, I hate to hit them with a bit. That's a real good way to, to ruin a bit. doesn't hurt these uh, sandy discs. They, they chomp right through that stuff. So I'm kind of throwing a roof on it. And uh, he, the size of this thing was dictated by the width of that, that cottonwood bark. And I, I want it to be kind of rustic. I have a couple more uh, going on. And uh, if I ever get my Etsy shop or my... Uh, uh, Facebook up and going. Uh, I'll put these guys on there for sale. So if, if you're in, this guy's here's going to be for sale. So if you're interested, uh, send me a comment or an email, uh, and the email is in the link down below, and uh, we'll get that off to you. Uh, I do have Squarespace and uh, e easy ways to uh, to accept your money. <laughs> so. If you're interested in purchasing this guy, when he's done, he is gonna be for sale, as well as uh, several other ones. I've got two or three more that I'm working on. And this this is gonna get kind of a unique finish. You, you just saw the sparks again. That is that is where there is a, a nail in there, and I, I'll go back and pull that thing out. Trust me, that basswood is not, not filled with uh, metal and, and sparking away. I've said it before, don't use a DeWalt like I do. I, I've been doing this for years. You can see the tape uh, on the end of it there where it's, it's frayed a little bit. This thing has no guards whatsoever on it. And uh, it, it looks dangerous, but I, I'm really taking small bites and, and you'll notice I, I've kind of got it uh, stuck against that stump. And, and this is actually safer to me, for me, than slapping it in a vise. If I put it in a vise, I have a tendency to grab that handle and, and go to town, and, and when it grabs, it, it really grabs. This time, I'm just taking, letting the disc do the work. So, taking down the front of the cottonwood bark there, I still really love the way this stuff carves. Um, it's just great fun and certainly is designed for these, these spirit faces. This guy had no, no design uh, in, in my brain. I wanted it to obviously be a spirit man, but uh, I kind of let the, the wood dictate how much wood I had there as to uh, where I went with the, the face and where the beard is gonna start on that guy. You'll see, this is gonna be two parts, because I, I, once again, I'm trying to keep these videos down about 15 minutes, because I seem to lose everybody uh, after that. And uh, I actually lose my patience uh, editing these things. So, I, I do have a couple more videos that are working in there, obviously the second part of this one. And uh, this is the week for that. This is the, my off week, the week I'm not, I'm not working. Uh, I, as most of you know, I, I work seven on, seven off, and this is this is my off week, so I, I get a lot of stuff done. I, I was kind of an idiot when I, you'll, you might see some stuff in the background in this carving. Uh, normally, I will put, uh, I, I run a couple SD cards, and, and I don't mix up the, 
the video footage, I'll, I'll go out typically in the morning uh, and car for uh, three or four or five hours. And I just, I let the camera run. Well, in this case, I had three or four projects uh, going on. Uh, one of them, uh, you, all, a couple of them you've seen. One was the troll lady. She was going on concurrently with this guy. The, the pumpkin man concurrently with this guy. Uh, but anyway, I, I really had a lot of trouble searching all over and, and editing or uh, selecting out the various different uh, videos because I, I, even in the same sequence, normally I'll, every once in a while I'll reach up and turn that camera off uh, just to get a clean, clean run and I can run these, edit these sequentially, I can find the next sequence. In this case, I, I kind of let the camera run and a lot of stuff and, and uh, man, it was a pain in the butt going back and, and, and trying to find, sifting through three different uh, carvings to get the next section that I wanted. So there's the rough out on the face. Don't worry about the top of that. I'm gonna uh, uh, show you how I fix, deal with that later. And then he, this guy decided to put a big chimney on the top of him later on. So now I'm gonna take I, I went ahead and, and did a, I wanted an overhang on the front, but I wanted his face to be up in there, so I wasted a lot of cottonwood. Ah, there you go. See what happens when you catch it. I, I dropped that thing and I had to turn it off. It uh, spun off in there and on the side. This is an extreme cuts off bit that I'm using now. Uh, go down in the links down there if you want to save 5%. Uh, the cuts all. I don't normally use an extreme. These uh, hand pieces that I'm running are, are really not designed for that aggressive a cut. But uh, in this case, I, I had one from a video that's still being edited uh, on the basic bits you can use and, and that cheap Chinese hand piece. And I, I selected four or five bits. This is one of them that, uh, that I went ahead and, and purchased. So I figured what the heck, might as well use it. Normally I use the mediums or the fines. If, if you've watched uh, Jordy a couple days ago, he had a, a gold, had a gold tent to it. That's the ones that I, I prefer to use and they do just fine on uh, most of the wood that I, I deal with. So I, I set a forehead in on this character and now I'm cutting in a, an eye socket. And I don't give a whole lot of thought uh, to the eyes. One of these days I'll actually plan out uh, one of these faces and then uh, I'll, I'll go through and, and, and show you. I've been meaning to do a, a video on the proportion of faces, how uh, artistic folks decide uh, how to build a, a human face and then how you kind of cartoon it out and then also a video on, on eyes, carving eyes, because eyes are kind of the secret, uh, the soul of the carving as it were. I'll probably leave the bottom of this guy open. Uh, even though he's a birdhouse, he's not designed to go outside. I finish him with some amber shellac uh, and a little bit of uh, acrylic paint on the roof. I go ahead and carve in shingles and that sort of stuff. But uh, you're gonna have to subscribe or at the bare minimum, uh, flip forward and, and search out that video. That, that probably should be up shortly after this one, maybe tomorrow. So I'm happy with uh, where he's going right now and it really turned out uh, pretty nice and that's my opinion of course. Uh, if you disagree in the comments, go ahead and put it down there. But anyway, uh, while we're talking of comments, I, I have watched several folks and I won't name them, uh, talking about people that are leaving bad comments or putting hate remarks uh, in, in the comments. Uh, I've been fortunate in the year and a half or so that I've been doing this. I, I haven't seen any. Uh, in fact, I've got none. Uh, nobody's really picked on them. A couple people complain that I didn't show them enough or I glossed over a part and that's all helpful criticism. Uh, but nobody has slammed any of the work and I want to thank you for that. Although, it, it, as Jordy says, it really doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not doing this uh, 
I'm doing it for me, basically, and you get the pleasure of, of watching it. If you don't like it, uh, uh, don't watch it. So, I kind of made a big, I'm, I'm doing bigger noses here lately. I'm kind of defining in where his mustache is coming down. Initially, it's going to look kind of funky because funky there's a couple of knobs sticking up that really get, that get carved down um, out of the way. There's a standard coffee. I don't know what that other deal was. Um, so time to throw a mouth in. And the, the challenge to this, uh, being a birdhouse, he has to have a pretty big mouth, so a bird has to be able to get in there. If you've uh, done any birdhouses, I mean the real the real deal, uh, and done some research on it, each bird has a specific size of hole that they like in, in these things, and, I, and really they're smaller than you would think they would be. Um, so if you if you're doing birdhouses and put them around your property and, and act, have birds actually use them. Uh, first of all, you have to have, have the right kind of birds that want to use this stuff. And then second of all, you, you should really take a little bit, a look at, uh, do some research on the size of the uh, hole going in there. In, in this case, this is just a random thing. As big as I can get away with and yet still read as an old uh, spirit, uh, spirit face going in there. That's an unusual bit for me. It's one of those ones I bought. Uh, you'll get to see that later on. Uh, if you sub are subscribed and, and you're following the channel when I do the Chinese carver uh, That's a big round uh, eighth inch round cuts all Or they call it a ball. I, I like I like the smaller balls. I like them in a ruby bit or a sapphire And I, I've said a hundred times I can carve in any direction. This thing's a taper the taper, you're limited. You're you're carving with the the sides of the bit and the and, and working down with that taper. Whereas the ball, you just touch it in any general direction, and, and you can smooth stuff out. Now with the ball, you have to go back and and take the cut marks out. Setting in the lip. If you haven't checked out the the carvers down below, by all means do. Uh, follow the links and you'll find some good stuff down in there uh, One of these days I, I am going to get a little bit away from from this sort of stuff and, and do a few more birds uh, Which is really where I started and what I did I really want to do a, a small exploding box again at the first video that I did a year or two ago uh, It wasn't real well received, but I didn't have a great uh, following like all you guys now so I, I might redo that. I, I know it's a lot to, to ask for someone to go back through and, and watch 110, 120 videos to pick things out because some of them are good, uh, like the, all things in life, and some of them are not so good. But uh, I see no reason to go back and, and pull videos off. If you really get into that, you can follow and, and see where the channel has evolved, and it really has evolved quite a bit. And a lot of that's uh, thanks to a lot of the, the carvers on there, especially Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. Uh, just Carve Rob. We've had some fun, as you know. And uh, a lot of the folks. Gene Messer has, has been carving for years. And if you, if you haven't seen the stuff that he's doing, by all means, go and follow that. It goes without saying, you can go look at Doug Linker's stuff if you're doing knife carving. Uh, and uh, Mike over at Stennis Sticks. Mark the Maker uh, is part of the community and doing great stuff. And, and there are just tons of folks out there. Uh, take a look at some of the stuff they're doing if you're interested in this sort of thing and, and support those guys. So here he's coming along. I, I, I really do like where he's going with this. So have the coffee and all the good stuff. And that's the end of part one, uh, about the 15 minute mark. So like, comment, subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.